I think we've done a pretty good job proving that this demon is very, very effective against small units. What about the opposite end of the scale? What if he fights something that's bigger than him, more swole than him, has better dance moves than him? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, they're not dead. At least not on the outside. Okay, he's scrambling their insides. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, I do want to complete the simulation campaign. Now, I've been having a lot of fun with the challenge. We've only got a couple of levels left, but I also want to do some sandbox stuff because as you can probably tell from the thumbnail of this video, I've downloaded a mod that has introduced some of the weirdest units I have ever seen. And that's always the best part of tabs. We'll start things off with a simulation called Moat, where obviously my opponent is heavily entrenched for like the 10th time. They've got the choke point from 300, they've got the high ground from Star Wars, I I'm waiting for the guy in the back to give the Braveheart speech. Fortunately, it looks like their units aren't all that impressive. They're mostly just bows and bones. Doesn't really hold up considering we have guns. I should probably mention that this isn't the mod that I was talking about earlier. I don't know how or why this is still on my computer, but it's kind of hard to say no to a couple of AK-47s, so long as they have ballista-proof vests. Can you stop a sharpened telephone pole from piercing you with a vest? It's really only one way of finding out, I suppose. We can definitely mow down skeletons. That's one big hurdle taken care of, damn it. Okay, good news, bad news. The good news is he wasn't impaled and we still have two AKs. Bad news is I don't know what area code he's in right now, so we're only gonna have one shooter. And I refuse to believe that this guy decided to wear a Kevlar bear today, so could you please just shoot him in the nips? Okay, for a second there, I thought he had Kevlar nips. Let's go look for your friend now. Moving on to something very different, we have the arena. We're not only are we surrounded and enclosed, but we're gonna get jumped on right away by these berserkers from the top ring, and then met by Jarls and Chieftains. So, listen, I know I should probably use regular units. Like, that's kind of the point of these levels. It's a bit of a challenge. You have fun trying to figure things out, but who in their right mind doesn't want to see a couple of broken tanks fight inside of an arena? You know what? If you think that's the wrong decision, you go right ahead and leave a comment. I'm going to be busy <laughs> crying laughing at how stupid these things are. Oh, it fits. Okay, that, that might have been too easy. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. I don't think the Reaper can penetrate chieftains or Jarls. Like, they've got real tight little sphincters. But he should be able to protect whatever else we use from the Berserkers, so he's probably worth putting down there. I just need to figure out what else I want to use. Like, I, I need something kind of big, but not all that expensive. I definitely want to maintain my numbers. Oh, we could try something like the Knight. Yeah, let's surround you with Knights. Let's be perfectly honest, they're just going to be a distraction. All of our money is on you shish kebabbing people, so please do your job. Give them all the anime girl treatment. This is the action we need to follow. Oh, yeah. You see, even if you just bounce their heads off the wall, that's probably good enough. <laughs> Was he alive? Just double tapping to make sure. Oh, uh, okay, the knights are down. I don't think I've ever seen a melee unit take down the Reaper, to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty sure this was an easy clap. Oh, okay, well, you know what? He, uh, he broke both of his arms. Okay, then. <laughs> yup, Reaper is just wonderful. And for the final simulation in this campaign, we have the pit against samurai, monks, Firework archers and watchers. Why does that samurai look like he needs to take a piss? Can we use that to our advantage? If you think about it, everybody knows pee is stored in the balls. So if he has a whole lot of pee, then he probably has a whole lot of balls, which means the Cupid would be super effective against him. How's that for an awesome segue? <laughs> we can even back up Cupid with cheerleaders. 
I'm curious what happens when we have semi-automatic Cupid. Except they have a lot of ranged units, so we might need our own samurai. Something like this. You guys can deflect your way down there and keep Cupid nice and safe. Yeah, you know what? I think this looks good. I think we got the winning strategy. <laughs> Who's ready to love? Ooh, look out. That did not work. What? Okay, I guess it kind of makes sense that they can't deflect everything from a watcha. It's kind of just a volley. <laughs> but we still have a Cupid. Oh crap, no, no, shoot faster. We need more love. This is not going according to plan. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've faced off against the Watcher. And this is not gonna be easy. Oh my. I'm gonna try my best not to beat this using guns, but I'm not gonna make any promises. At some point, I may need to roll a tank over there and just run them over. I think the biggest issue here is we're giving the Huacha way too much time. It's sitting in the back, it's reloading and volleying, reloading and volleying. We need to get on top of it with dinosaurs. <laughs> this is the dumbest game ever. Can we afford some kind of horse? Yes, okay, we can get uh, three jousters. Horses and dinosaurs, a match made in heaven. Hopefully, you guys can just run over these melee units. No problem at all. Uh, ooh, yeah, arrows hurt just a touch, but the firework archers can't really do anything at close range. Otherwise, they blow themselves up. Some of you left. Some of you thought I was joking about dinosaurs and horses, but they're more than just predator and prey. I know I said this when the simulations first came out, but I gotta say it again. I do like it when they release fully rendered levels. And don't get me wrong, but if I had to choose between one fully rendered level and a dozen simulation levels, give me the simulations every single time. Like, I hope this is something that we see every time they release a big update for tabs, because I love it when they have pre-built challenges waiting for me as opposed to the challenges that I'm about to create for myself with these hilarious mods. We've got zombies, spawners, and demons. Now, I haven't seen any of these units yet, but I can guarantee they are gonna be a complete sight to behold. Okay. So our demons are of varying ages. I guess we'll go with the first age demon, which costs a dollar shy of 60,000. What the hell are you? That could be a demon. It could be a bone mage possessed by the ghost of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is Arnold Schwarzenegger dead yet? Probably not. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna have to test him out and you better believe we'll give him the old Hobbit treatment. I should probably say this in a video because I get the feeling a lot of you guys will get a kick out of it. I have had a Tabs video demonetized because I was discriminatory towards a minority. Do you know which minority? Hobbits. Doesn't matter that they don't exist. Advertisers are worried that they might not be able to sell their products in the Shire. This is real. I'm not joking about this. So you know what, Frodo, Bilbo, if you're watching this, I want you guys to sincerely know that you can suck my and you don't even need to bend over to do it. This is especially for you. What the hell is happening right now? What is it doing? Uh, I'm starting to lean more towards the ghost of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've never seen units move around in tabs like this before, and it kind of potatoed my PC. Is that one a zombie? I think I'm gonna have to try that again, except for this time, we'll watch it in slow motion so that it's hopefully a little bit easier to follow. They get pulled towards him with some kind of invisible force and explode, and some of them are definitely changing color. So where some explode, others get zombified. Some of them get frightened, kind of like the skeletons. I'm pretty sure that guy just got a right hook in the lips. And then like, uh, there's a couple that are just planking and getting thrown around. This guy must have multiple different powers to screw with people and he just uses them indiscriminately. 
<laughs> like, there's always three or four of them that just plank and kind of float around like paper airplanes in the breeze while the rest of them really get the hard dick in. I also can't tell if this thing is huge or not. The halflings should be about half a regular unit size, right? But this guy is like twice the size of a regular unit as far as I can tell. He's like a giant evil genie. And about as broken as I would expect. He, he's just a touch janky, but I love it. I, I'm kind of curious if the zombies are attacking. Oh yeah, look at that. They are. So when they get zombified, they attack their fellow hobbits and actually convert them. Right? More of them are getting converted by their little hobbit bites. <laughs> is this what happened to Smeagol? I gotta speed this up. This, this is, okay, now it's just a blur. <laughs> There's really no happy medium. Damn, demon is thick. So just to be clear, that thing had a list of abilities longer than my arm and it was only the first age demon. I'm almost afraid to summon the second, nonetheless release him against the Shire. Okay. Well, they're definitely similar, but not quite the same. Like, he's also incredibly swole. He's also got the wrist shackles, very much like a genie. I, I get the feeling the only thing these guys are gonna be wishing for is the pain to stop, but we will see. Wish granted. What? What the Christ was that? It definitely feels like I missed something there, but it might have been because I blinked. What if we just watch this again? He swoops past, and everything explodes from the inside. Okay. For a second there, I thought maybe the hobbits had learned that they're all just gonna play dead and the demon will go away, but I don't think that's playing dead. I could have swore the saying was thick thighs save lives, but this thick thigh demon is just insta-killing everything. <laughs> like, if we call in the Shire's whole extended family, we're gonna get 90 hobbits on the battlefield at once, then what exactly is going to happen? I saw it, I still don't know what happened. Hobbits, I know I give it to you guys rough sometimes, but this is easily the world's worst flash mob. I think we've done a pretty good job proving that this demon is very, very effective against small units. What about the opposite end of the scale? What if he fights something that's bigger than him, more swole than him, has better dance moves than him? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, they're not dead. At least not on the outside. Okay, he's scrambling their insides. What is going on? He is just punching them down, one at a time, but then he's possessing them or like quasi-tornadoing them, and you can see their souls kind of spilling out of their bodies and then getting sucked back in. That is not good. I want to say that they sent the demon back to hell somehow, but it's really hard. Oh, no, never mind. He's still good. <laughs> and now he's throwing them off the map. Well, then, are you going to go too? I think he might be done. Yeah, he's going back to where he came from. Well, then, that was quite the show. So first age demon had a dozen different abilities that he could use to attack people. Second age demon could just insta-kill people, didn't even need to attack them, could shred their souls from their bodies, could throw them off the world. <laughs> How could third age demon possibly ramp things up? Other than sticking his head in a frosty machine. Well, he's definitely more stable than the others, probably because he has a gigantic, disgusting foot. You can even see the shadow of it from here. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with these units, but I cannot wait to see how he instantly freezes everybody. That is really cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he freeze them or did he zombify them? Or both? It's a little difficult to tell with the shield and all the armor, so I'm gonna get a couple of loin-clothed individuals out there and see exactly what is happening. It looks like they're being infected, right? They're all turning into zombies slowly but surely. 
The lucky ones, at least. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you beat something like this? I guess you're not really supposed to. The whole idea is you summon it, you laugh, you watch these things get wrecked, and then you move on with your life. I really can't help but see if you can zombify a giant. And it feels fitting that we zombify the guy that looks like Jesus. Hopefully this actually works. This is not slow motion. They're just really, really derpy. I don't think they're changing color though. So maybe the zombifying effect is lessened on giants, but it's still somewhat present. They're definitely giving them a bopping, but it doesn't look like they're turning on each other and their color isn't all that different. Maybe a slight tinge of green. Kind of hard to tell. Once they fall over, they're not getting back up. <laughs> no amount of life alert is going to save you guys. Yeah, this is not at all what I would have expected. He's clearly going to win. They're not going to be able to kill him with trees, but we'd be here all day just watching him poke at them. Or not? Was that a home run? I think they vanquished the demon. Way to go. Who would have guessed that the power of Christ would compel a demon to leave, right? <laughs> okay, we got to try a fourth age demon. Who is uh, the wrong color. I take it back. Coloring is going to be the least of this guy's problems. <laughs> like it is going to be a little weird for us because he is just as much blue as he is red. But he's also got a couple of real big tumors. Like, he is Popeye, but not in the good way. I want to try a ranged unit for once. I want to give my units a fighting chance. What if we try Chuko Nu? That's a whole lot of fully automatic crossbows. We should be able to fill him. I, I, I kind of want to see if we could take down a demon, maybe, possibly, sort of. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was close, right? He dodged all of our attacks, levitated us all off the ground, and then froze us solid. And he didn't even have to stop moving. He's still on his way to lunch. Maybe if we throw enough units at him, he won't be able to freeze the ballista that I'm going to conveniently tuck in the back. <laughs> we know that the ballista is a god killer. Don't know if it's a demon killer. Hopefully he will just miss them. Nope, not even a little bit. Holy crap, like, there's so many units on screen that I can't even get a solid frame rate. <laughs> there's no way I can ramp it up any more than this. So we've now seen four demons, and I think it's safe to say that they are getting more and more ridiculous. So what could the fifth possibly have to offer? Of course he's a different color. They could all kind of combine into the Power Rangers. I wonder if there's some kind of demon Megazord. With some of the demons, you can kind of guess what they're going to do. Right, they'll be icy or blue and they can freeze stuff, so on and so forth. But with this guy, I got nothing. He's got feathers. Are you going to tickle people? I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> Why don't we have you try to tickle some hoplites? I'm sorry about this, guys. I know this is your home field and so on and so forth. Shouldn't be insulting you in front of the gods, but... Guess what? They should be here helping you versus the de- You know what? We'll have a god helping you with the demons. Why not? <laughs> Something tells me it's not gonna matter all too much. Uh... Did he turn them all into fainting goats? <laughs> it looks like it. They all kind of got up and fell over and got up and fell over and then did eventually the third or fourth time when the concussions just set in, those helmets aren't exactly made to standard. What are you doing with these ones? Are they special for some reason? Oh, oh, don't you guys just move in a very eloquent way. Uh, where are you going? Oh, oh! Zeus was hiding in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. There's no way that we can look at this entire mod in one episode, okay? I'm sorry, I really wanted to, but we've got nine different demons, as well as zombies and summoners and probably more of the modern faction that I missed. And like, I really want to try out a lot of stuff with these demons. 
like demons versus demons and demons versus different types of units and there's a lot to do so leave some recommendations in the comments you know leave a like if you want to see more stuff like that and i'll return to see exactly what else there's gonna be. we haven't seen the best of the best yet we've only seen the first five things are gonna get way weirder but thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time